somehow every single time I plan to build a specific house with a theme. So for this build, when I was planning it out, I was like, you know what? I don't care that it's October 22nd. I want to do a Christmas winter house. So that's what I was going to do. And then when I started planning it and decorating it, it turned into a spring farmhouse. We are not doing a Christmas house yet, but we will be doing one soon. I am not stopping until I build one. Also guys, I have some crazy news. I got Madison beer tickets. I feel very accomplished. I didn't get them during pre-sale because every time I literally went on the website, I talked about this in my last video, but every single time I went on the website, it kept redirecting me when I was about to buy the tickets. I was like, what? what is going on? So I didn't get them at that time. The day of the actual sale, the tickets were up. So I went and bought them. They were more, but it does not matter. I'm seeing Madison beer. I, I, I showed Isaac an inspiration picture and I was like, I want to build this. It, it looks really cute. I, I want it. And he was like, okay, I'm going to cook it up for you. And he makes it literally first try perfectly to scale. And I'm like, what? Oh, bro, my hands are, my hands are magical. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> this is so beautiful. My eyes are like sparkly right now. I can't even see my own eyes, but they're sparkly. I know they're sparkly. Oh, oh my God. Why is it not working? <laughs> why does it look like that? Ew, why? What did I do wrong? I just bought a winter coat. I have this thing where I, I like to buy things for the looks instead of functionality of it. So I saw this really cute blue Tommy Hilfiger jacket and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. But where I live is very, very cold in the winter. Like freezingly cold. My hands and my fingers will turn purple from how cold it is. And I was like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. I want the coat because it's blue and it's fashionable and it's really cute. And I don't really care if it's gonna keep me warm or not because listen, here's the thing, right? I would rather look good and be cold than be warm and look bad. Very backwards thinking, but it doesn't matter. So I just justified it in my head. I was like, you know what, it's fine. If I'm cold, I'll look good being cold. And I'll just wear really thick layers underneath it because it's a puffer coat. So it's fluffy and it's big. So you could probably wear a bunch of stuff under it. So it doesn't matter. And there was an extra coupon. So I was like, you know, what they're just telling me to buy it so i'm gonna buy it so i bought it i i kind of make a lot of questionable purchases sometimes but it doesn't matter okay here's the plan i'm gonna do the slanted roofs first and then put the gable roof i literally practiced this before i recorded i was like i need to make sure i do it right why is it clipping i locked in and i decided you know what it's time i do this myself so i painted the exterior i added some decals so let me show you like what's what's going on here started planning what i'm gonna do for the grass i think i'm gonna do stripes and then i got these really cute decals from my friend sam she uses them for the floor to add flower petals so i put them all over my little gardening here and then i also added flower baskets here and this lace trim to go with the whole farmhouse cutesy pink vibe <laughs> i don't know what shape i'm making this pond I wanted to do a heart, but the issue is you can't put water here. Oh my god, what is that? Yes, football field. <laughs> Does that look odd? And there's, there's just a floating bench. Oh, I wish they would let you put water over here. It would make it make so much more sense. Hold on, I'm gonna send a picture of this to the roaches and see what they say. I don't know, this house just gives me such fairy tale vibes. I feel like I need to fulfill that with the drawstring bridge. Oh, wait. Okay, so they added, for Halloween, they added this paper leaves garland, and I saw someone on Twitter use it for vines so I'm, I'm gonna try that guys he said it's actually good okay i guess we're keeping the bridge then brain goggles are on today so at night it literally looks like you're crossing through a fairy tale forest so this isn't actually a fence because i didn't like how tall it was when i had this picket fence i took a beveled cube and then just painted it the texture of the leaves I have this problem where I get my best ideas when I'm not recording. I don't know why, but I built this farmhouse looking door. We built the entry tea party area. I did this custom chair design, which is a stool and then a bunch of little stripes with the structural. So it looks like a waffle. It is 12 15 a.m and i'm still going i just made this bench lounge seating area when i'm supposed to be sleeping is when i get my best ideas we're, we're getting there slowly it's been like three hours and this is all i've done to me this is pretty good so i've changed my mind i'm adding some plants over here just because it looks really weird having this entire forest and then nothing over here i don't know where i'm gonna connect this to but i wanted to somehow intercept this sort of path if that's going this way or this way the whole idea is i want this house to look like something you'd find in a meadow or a secret garden the value is literally 173k isaac did this stair design for me so i have this tree which is blocking the back of this so i can do a makeshift cabin glow window i'll show you 
you guys. I did this in my building a cozy cottage video. So you take this light box and then you resize it to the biggest it could be so it fits in the window. And then obviously don't make it too bright because you don't want to blind your entire house. Obviously you can't reach all the way up to the top. So I'm going to take two more of these shelves. And now it looks like you have a cute little interior glow. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. I'm still landscaping, but oh my God, who let me cook. <laughs> so the roof is colliding inside of here. And for me to fix this, cause I'm lazy. I just changed the ceiling color here just so it looks like it's separated on purpose. And then now I'm dividing it off with the structural beam. Now we have this weird opening gap. So I'm filling it up with the structural beam. This is all I do. I just go like that. And then you just resize it yourself. The thing I just showed you only works on the top part because you can't do it here because it's too short. So what I did was I just did a bunch of diagonals with the beams and now I'm just painting it pink. So it looks like ballerina laces and we're going to pretend that was the purpose. Guys, I have just discovered the most revolutionary build hack there is. This right here is just a random door frame. And then I added a literal arch structural item. Just look at this, right? Look how good that looks on the door frame. We're getting somewhere with the kitchen. I've added a pumpkin and I know Halloween is over, but it's still fall technically, you know, November. But we're getting there slowly with the kitchen. I'm a little unsure of what I'm doing design wise. I think this is a good setup. It's unique. Dude, guys, I have to tell you about two or three days ago was Halloween weekend for college students. Let me just tell you, it was so eventful. So first off, the day, the first day of Halloween weekend, which was Friday, I had school and then I had a math test and bro, I blanked out so bad. I have so much grief now because of that. But then after that, I got home and I went to get Panera because I love Panera. I love their food. It's so good. I don't know what happened. Like I was eating the chicken and it tasted a little funny, but I didn't think anything of it because I always go to Panera every so often. I've never gotten sick from their food. So I was like, Oh, it's fine. It's probably just in my head or something. So I just continued to eat my Panera sandwich. About an hour passed and I got a really bad stomach ache. Mind you, I'm going out at around eight or nine o'clock at nighttime to go to a party. So there is no time to be sick on this day. There's no time. Like I have to get ready. I have to do all this stuff. My stomach started killing me. I started feeling nauseous and this was around like 1 p.m. I was just dying and it, it got so bad where I like had to curl up in a ball and die. And then it, it gets worse. It gets worse. So then a few hours passed and I'm kind of just like, I can't sit. I can't stand. I just feel really, really sick. So I was like, what is going on? Like, why is this happening? Then eventually I was just sitting in the bathroom over the sink because, okay, I know you're supposed to throw up in the toilet, but bro, I am not putting my face near a toilet. That's gross. So I decided if I was going to throw up, it would be in the sink. Uh, my parents were not very happy about that. But anyway, I eventually I threw up multiple times and it was like, it was red. And to me, like throwing up red is like blood, right? So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die from a Panera sandwich. Like, dude, I was just hungry. I wanted a Panera sandwich. Why am I about to die right now? Eventually, we were going to urgent care because, dude, I thought I was gonna die. Let me just clear it up, guys. It was not blood. I had Powerade, and apparently, if you have Powerade, it, like, dyes your entire body, and it changes the color of stuff. So that's why my throw-up was red. So thankfully, I'm fine. But, um, so we went to urgent care, and they're like, oh, there's an hour. Wait, the girl, this is called urgent care. Aren't you supposed to instantly help the person? Because what if I'm about to die? And they're like, oh, just sit down. Hour wait. I'm like, girl, I'm about to throw up again. Again. So we went to a different location and then they said two hour wait. I was like, girl, what? I thought this was supposed to be like fast service, urgent care, but I guess not. So we went to another location, we went to a pediatrics. It was for little kids and they got me in within a good half hour. So I was just sitting there, you know, like dying, trying to hold in my, my puke. Cause like, obviously you don't want a projectile vomit in the middle of a doctor's office. Cause that's not the cutest look. And okay. So around this time, it was around 6 PM now, dude, I still want to go out. Cause I had a cute costume. I had a sailor moon costume and I really wanted to wear it. So eventually the doctor sees me and he's just like, oh, you're fine. There's just a virus going around. That's all it is. Just take this medicine. So I was just like, bruh, I was sitting here dying for the entire day just for them to make me wait that long just to tell me that I'm fine. And I'm just like, no, I don't think I'm fine, but okay. So eventually I went home. Eventually I did feel better. Thank goodness. The nausea and all that stuff went away after seven to eight hours after I threw it all up, which was horrible because I was, I thought I was going to die. Like, you know, that feeling when you're sick and you're just like, oh my God, I I took for granted how I felt when I wasn't sick. Like that's how I felt. It was so bad. Eventually I felt better and I was like, you know what? I still want to go out because I have a really cute costume and I want to wear it. So I got ready and we went out, me and my friend, and it was fun, but it was such an eventful day. Like I was fighting for my life in the morning and afternoon. And then at nighttime I was at a party having fun. So that's always nice. And then the next day, my friend and I, we went to this like event at a club and dude, we were sitting in the car about to get out. This guy in a taco costume climbs up the parking ramp and then jumps right in front of my 
my car. And me and her got startled because like, why is a guy in a taco suit just casually jumping in front of our car, climbing up a ramp? So we were startled and he was just like looking at us like a deer in headlights. It was so interesting, very eventful. I don't know why any of that stuff happened, but somehow we still got the weekly upload out too. I woke up the next day around one o'clock and I was like, oh my God, did I schedule my video? Please tell me it's out. And thankfully Friday night me did schedule the video. So it did come out on Sunday and we were good. We always pull through. I think it's a blessing and a curse to be a bit of a detailed builder because I just overthink all the details way too much. But hey, the first floor is almost done. But yeah, guys, tell me how your Halloween went. You got lots of candy. Some houses I used to trick or treat at when I was little, they would give out king sizes and we were like, oh, those are the rich houses. We gotta go there every year. This one house too would also give us the king size, or not king size, like the large Gatorade bottles as instead of candy. And then another house would give us money. I was like, oh, okay, sounds good to me. In one of my TikTok videos, I did this round window design. I might be onto something if I do it in the kitchen. Cause here we have this arch so we can kind of do like a whole framing look. And I just realized I have forgot to do my homework. Oh, that's awesome. I'll do it later. It's fine. So when I said framing, then I realized architecture. And then I was like, oh, shoot. Forgot to do my architecture homework. Do we see the vision? Mm, I don't know. They need to let you change decals in build mode. Also, if I sound sick, it's because my throat hurts. After I went out for Halloween, I think I caught what they call it, frat flu. So that's why I sound weird. But guys, listen, we still have to weekly upload. Oh yeah, you know what made me angry? Yesterday, I had a class at 9 a.m. as I always do. So I woke up and I was struggling to wake up because I went to bed so late the night before. And I was like, no, no, I can't miss this class. It's important. I get to class and then I find out that it was canceled. So I went there for no reason. And then I went home because I was so tired and I accidentally fell asleep because I was going to go back to school because I had two other classes, right? So I was like, oh, it's fine. I'm just going to close my eyes for a little bit. And mind you, I am not someone who can fall asleep and take naps like that. I could just, I never, I've never been able to do that. But for some reason, yesterday, I got home at like 10 a.m. because it took me, like I obviously had to go to my class, then I was at a drive back home. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a little bit, like a mental nap, even though you're not gonna fall asleep. I fell asleep until 2 p.m. and I missed my other two classes. But the good thing was I found out today that there wasn't one of the classes they canceled that one too. Like bro, I'm paying for college. They're not even having classes. And I mean, I'm not complaining because I would have wanted to sleep in, but dude, I didn't even know. So I woke up for no reason. I wasted a good day of potential sleep and now i'm sick maybe people are into sick asmr cough cough ah i'm gonna contaminate you through the screen <laughs> and here's the thing right i got covid in january 2021 and i haven't been sick since then i've never gotten sick because i lost my taste and smell and i still don't have it so everything tastes really weird now somehow i've finally gotten sick and now i'm just thinking maybe now if i get sick it'll bring my taste and smell back because there's gotta be some correlation, right? Like not getting sick at all for three years straight. I started uploading Christmas decals to my inventory. I wanna make Christmas builds so bad. I think after this build, I will. I just, I need to get it out of my system. But then again, I also want the update item. So like, do I wait? Do I not? I finished the third book of that series that I talked about in my TikTok hacks video. And now I'm in the biggest reading slump ever. I just don't want to read any other book right now because I'm still hung up on that book. When I was waiting for the book to come out, I started reading other books to just kind of pass the time so it would go faster as a distraction. The last book that I was reading, I stopped three fourths of the way into the book just because the third book of the series came out. So I was going to finish reading it after I finished the third book. Now I'm just, I have no motivation to finish it. And I want to read this book series called a Court of Thorns and Roses or the Shatter Me series. But I don't know. I'm just so... Ugh, I'm in a reading slump, guys. What do I do? I feel like I just gotta start something to get me out of it. But like, I don't want to. So I don't know, bro. I feel like farmhouses typically have really cluttered kitchens, which is a good thing. I mean, it, it makes it look very homey. I need to add something here, though. It's... There's not... I need to just put something there. Oh, I've never used this before. A food warming tray. These rose bouquets are from the Valentine's Day update and I need to get more when they bring it back because these flowers are so cute. I don't understand why they took them away because it's it's just a flower. And the thing is with the regular rose bush, you can't harvest it or store it. So you can't save the bouquets unless it's Valentine's Day. Oh, look, I want to do a tray of cookies. I'm scared, bro. So today it's November 2nd and I don't have a video for Sunday because I lost my voice. I haven't been able to record anything and that's kind of my fault because I didn't record ahead of time because I always record the week of just because I don't know. I just don't find the time. So I was like, oh, it's fine. Like I'll be able to talk. I'll get it done. It'll be good. It did not. I did not get it done. It did not happen. So here we are. It's Thursday, almost Friday and I don't have any video planned and I'm trying to figure out a way 
way to finish this before then, but I don't think that's gonna happen. And you know what the thing was? I went to the doctor, right? And he didn't give me any medication. And instead of giving me medication, he gave me a flu shot. And I was just like, dude, I'm already sick. And you're giving me another shot That's that might make me more sick? Now, I mean, I know the flu shot is a preventative to get sick in the future. But dang, couldn't you have waited a little bit longer? Oh, shoot. You know, today they updated the game too. So I can't even use these potions anymore. I was using them for everything. Guys, I'm doing something DIY. I think it'd be very wrong if I just put a flower thing without a vase looking shape so i just put a basic shape under it and it looks like it's just a tree chilling out it looks better with the vase so i felt like such a custom builder there we're on the long haul for this house this we're just gonna leave empty because there's no way to access it so it's just gonna exist but then we have this upstairs loft which i'm gonna do and then right now i'm doing this really tiny study room slash living room so i'm trying to figure out what to put here i found this picture on pinterest i think this could be the move for this room because it's kind of tiny so i think the goal is just going to be to put a few couches and tables and then fill up the space i think the main issue with this room is how tiny it is this is supposed to probably be a hallway but i'm just we're gonna make it work so for school for my one class my teacher decided to assign us this 35 slide presentation on a specific architect you think as a youtuber who does commentary as their like genre on youtube i wouldn't be scared of public speaking but public speaking is literally my biggest fear i get so nervous when i have to do it i remember in eighth grade i had to do this presentation about like all the community service i've done over the past year and like i got so i think i just like in my head i make it seem so much worse than it is when i was presenting my hands were shaking so much and i literally almost blacked out from fear you know when you get so nervous you start to see stars that happened to me it, dude i know it's not that deep i don't know why i'm like that because i literally post videos of me talking about the most random stuff that's literally what i do but for some reason dude every time i have to do it in front of people like I know I, my one friend she's like no one's gonna remember so like it doesn't matter You don't need to worry about that. No one's judging you But for some reason like I just oh my god, I get so scared in this presentation So this class that i'm taking right now it's for grad school students Some of the people in this class are in their late 20s to 30s So they're older and when they see a girl I wear a lot of pink clothes to school So they're just seeing like a girl pull up to school in like a full pink outfit and she's about to do a presentation on architects they're probably just like, what is she doing? Like, what is going on? I have no shame. I don't care what people think. But dude, if I'm presenting, that's scary. Going back to the class being full of 30-year-olds, because I did not know this, the first day of school for that class, I sat down and I started talking to this guy and he was in his maybe like 50s or 60s. So I assumed he was the professor. So I was like, is this the right classroom? Because I always get to my classes early to make sure I'm not late and to make sure that I'll find a seat because some classes, it'll be like, there's a specific amount of chairs and there's they put more students than chairs. I don't know why they do that. So I was just asking him, is this the right class? Blah, 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 thinking he's the professor. And he was like, yeah, yeah, it is. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I sat down and then the real professor actually came in. I was like, wait, that wasn't the professor. That was just another student. This is so weird. Cause there's like people that have kids. Dude, I'm just a, sophomore in college i'm a child compared to them yeah so i have to present in front of all these people like they're older they know what they're doing and i'm scared Ugh. and then i have to do another presentation in another one of my classes like bro they're gonna put me through it so i'm having the worst anxiety ever about it please tell me i'm not the only one that and group projects who in their right mind decided that making people in school do group projects or group work was the best idea ever because first of all no one wants to be there no one wants to freaking do a group project so everyone's just sitting there awkwardly and then i have to be like so guys what are we doing like what's what's going on the introverted one has to be the one that speaks i'm not introverted but i don't like talking to people if they're not going to return the energy i'm giving to them i mean i guess i'm a little shy at first but i feel like everyone is so whatever group projects in school are so bad because one person person ends up doing all the work and everyone else just kind of sits there i have to be the one that's like so guys i'm gonna do this can you guys do this please and then it's just so awkward because you're all just sitting there and ugh, i don't understand group work is when teachers want to be lazy and they don't feel like teaching so stop doing that please i go to school to get educated not to have to face demons of anxiety i would rather take a test than do group work that's how bad it is don't give me that stuff please i'll do anything but group work what if i made this like a little chill entry mudroom looking thing and then there was a door right here so then the room will look a little bigger to make this room bigger we're gonna call this a sunroom this is essentially where you're like about to go outside and then i'm gonna make a patio area here girl not it going through the door see now it looks so much bigger in here this it just looks like there's a lot more space when in reality there's not it's actually very cramped i'm building this 
kid's bunk bed right now. I found it off a of TikTok. I think I'm gonna show how I did it in my next TikTok video because I know a lot of people like those. And also, if you see any on TikTok that you'd want me to make, just tag me in it because that would help me get some ideas so I can make better videos on them. I'm doing the ballet lace thing again and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So I just crisscross and then I crisscross again. And look, ballet laces on the ends. It's so cute. It looks very cohet, cute, stylish. Guys, we're almost there. <coughs> Jesus. Dude, I've been sick for a freaking week and I'm still dealing with the side effects. My voice right now. Dog, what the hell? Just look how beautiful. We need to admire this little tea party area. We're getting there so slowly, but it's happening. The value of the house right now is 438k. So that's uh a little questionable. I did the garage for the first time ever. I never do garages, but for some reason today, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a garage. So we have a storage area and then also a shoe area. And then I decided to put random boxes in cinder blocks because garage, you know? I don't I don't know what people put in garages. I started working on the bathroom. This is where I put the universal cabin light area and i'm blocking it off with these trees because we don't want people to see that this area right here the grass pattern doesn't match the regular grass so i'm gonna put all this weird bush fencing landscaping over it so you can't see it and then let me show you what i did so far i do this in all my builds with the shower the weird half corner just to save space because this is a really tiny bathroom to change it up a little bit i added a doorway and then the arches and then i added the wallpaper so it looks a little more classical it looks a little more classy and the vacuum on. What's going on? What's going on? What if I move the mic closer to me? Okay. Maybe you won't hear it if my mic's here. Guys, this is the struggle of living with your family. Speaking of living with family, bro, yesterday I bought chips and queso. And the thing was, the day before, I was dying for chips and queso. So I went to Moe's. If you don't know what Moe's is, it's like another version of Chipotle, but in my opinion, better. I've only had Chipotle once, which was a good 10 years ago. I think I got food poisoning, so I just never went back there again. Actually, no, I did go back there with my friend because she wanted me to try the queso there. So I tried it and it was really, really spicy. And I'm very bad with spicy foods. So I was like, hell no, I can't eat this. So I go to Moe's because they have queso as well, but it's toned down. It's not spicy because I don't like spicy food. So it's just like a more toned down cheese sauce, right? So I finally got it yesterday night. I was like, yes, I'm so happy. And I didn't finish it all. So I put it in the cabinet and I was like, oh, I'll eat it tomorrow when I get home from school. So it's currently 3 p.m. right now, like on the dot 3 p.m. And mind you, this morning I was like thinking about it. I was like, yes, I get to eat my queso and chips when I get home. I'm so happy. I get home and Here's the thing, right? Last time that I got chips and queso, one of my siblings took the queso that I hid in the fridge and they ate it. Why, why would you do that? And I was like, you know, it's fine. It's no big deal. So then yesterday night, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make sure they have no way to touch my chips and queso. So I put the queso, I hid it in like the very bottom compartment of the fridge. So the first thing I did when I got home was I checked and I was like, let's, let's make sure that the chips and queso are still in the fridge. So I check and the queso is still in the fridge. I was like, yes, they didn't find it. It's mine. So then I go to grab the chips, which I put in the cabinet. And I didn't think anyone was gonna eat the chips. I put it behind the cereal. So I was like, nah, no one's gonna see it. No one's gonna find it. It's fine. I go and look. There's no chips, bro. So we got rid of one problem and then another one came up. So that was awesome. I was so enraged because when you're craving one specific thing and you've been looking forward to it all day and then you find out that someone ate it, dude, my fight or flight kicks in and I get so angry. So I'm still angry, but the good thing is I can buy the chips from the store, but I don't want to go to the store. I got to get in my car. I got to drive to the freaking store. I gotta buy queso. I don't want to do that right now. I wanted to build. I've been thinking about during school. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna finish this house. I'm almost done. Wake up, babe. Major French Roses build update. The value is now 544k. We have finished the backyard. Well, we haven't finished, but we started it. We have a nice solid foundation. Here's what it's looking like. I love these little pebble paths. They're so cute. I just added a bunch of gardening for the backyard. Rare occasion, Noelle makes a backyard. Here's the finished bathroom. So beautiful, so cute. I've been working on the upstairs. The small section here is gonna be the laundry room sort of thing, and then maybe a little office space area. Ignore this, this is just me when I was testing random stuff over here. Did a bit of some off-camera mining, and then here's the bedroom. It's so cute, guys, I love it so much. Also, I made this custom wall trim. I like when there's a difference here versus this wall trim and this wall trim. I just, I love accents. If 
you can't tell. That's why every wall is a different color, different pattern. Here's where the laundry room stuff's gonna be, and then I'm gonna separate it here with this picture, and then over here will be the desk space. To seal off the two sides, I'm just gonna use a structural. I'm sure you guys have heard already. Fortnite came back with the old season, so me and the roaches, well, me and Roach Singular have been playing it. The other roach went home for his reading week or something, so he couldn't play with us, but we're gonna play again this weekend. I posted a video of us playing Fortnite on the crew channel, and I'll probably post another one when we play with the other roach so if you didn't watch it you should also recently i've been seeing these two people they're youtubers sam and colby i don't know who they are i'm pretty sure they make going into haunted places videos but i don't watch that stuff because i'm scared that stuff scares me but they've been all over my for you page so if you watch them let me know i because everyone's saying a lot of my viewers watch them i've been seeing edits on my for you page because two of my friends they watch those two people and they always repost thirst trap edits of them and i'm like who who is this why are there random men on my for you page because right now my for you page is kind of all josh hutcherson for two reasons right one being five nights at freddy's but also because of the hunger games because the new hunger games movie is coming out and i oh my god i love the hunger games yeah, i love a good josh hutcherson edit those are good but then there's like random people i'm like i don't know who you are but okay you know get it i'm so excited to post this video i'm still trying to figure out what to title it but you'll probably know because when this video comes out there will be a video title but i was thinking right now building my dream house because technically this is my dream house it was supposed to be a christmas house but it evolved into what i would want my ideal home to look like i think my ideal home though would be a house up on a hillside south of france those types of homes where you have to drive up a very large hill and it's very secluded i would just be driving a porsche 718 i will be getting that car it reminds me of the car from fast and furious suki had oh yeah now the, the thing about this is the more lights you add the more you got to balance everything else so every time i add something up there i need to balance it out with over here because right here there's like a very large amount of extra lighting that we don't want so the solution to this would just be to kill that i have successfully uploaded decals without getting banned roblox administration was on my side today here's the reason why i uploaded them so i had this decal here and i was looking at my inventory and i couldn't find a single decal to match this room vibe so i decided to find a million decals for this option and this is what we ended up with it's a ballerina outfit and it matches the room now we're onto the bedroom i have this desk i'm not really sure what to put on here i've been kind of sitting here a little bit because yesterday i finished this area this took so long i literally sat on my computer for a good seven hours doing just this room i'm so slow dude you don't understand a lot of people were asking for a speed build of this here's the thing right when i built this some of it was built off camera for example the layout i messed up so bad on that so i would need to re-record me building the layout and then some of the rooms aren't shown in the footage that i have just because i got an idea off camera when i was unable to talk or i was doing something else because sometimes i'll be on a call and then i'll plan a bit because there's just so much of this house that it doesn't matter if i film it or not so would you guys be okay if certain things were cut out and then instead of you actually seeing the video of me building it and placing stuff there would be just pictures of the missing things that weren't included but i would re-record the layout i'm not sure if i would post it exactly after i film and put this video up because I have a bunch of exams and projects going on in the next few weeks so it might come out near December if that's fine with you guys but let me know what you think if you'd want that oh my god guys we finished the house after three weeks of building this and putting my blood sweat and tears into this beautiful house we have finished my dream house it's so beautiful i'm so proud of how it turned out let's just we gotta start with the outside so we have this beautiful garden this decal carried so hard it adds so much to the fairy tale vibe and then these super cute paths and we cannot forget this tiny little lake right in front of the house fairy tale bridge with the leaves from the update as you go towards the house we have these stepping stones and then bigger stepping stones to kind of blend the main path here is the front we have the hanging flowers a little lounge area here and then another stone path which leads over to the tea party area oh so cute i feel like the angel noise is gonna come up i've never tried so hard on a build before and it, it's so cute okay so first let's talk about this area this is the first thing i built in the house this is the tea area of the house where you first enter you're having tea with your friends we have this chair design with the stools and we do have a christmas decal because christmas is coming and then you go over here which is the mud room or connection 
from the house to the garage. So we have a seating area where you could sit and then put your shoes on as it shows right here. More silverware and plates to go with the tea party area. Actually decorated the garage this time. We have this storage shelf with things I would assume would be in a garage. Cinder blocks, boxes, essentially just storage and then shoes. The bathroom is in the garage because I don't know. And we have the cabin lighting. And then this was from a TikTok hack, the flat iron with the cord going into the outlet. It's a really cute touch to the build. Makes it look more detailed in a way. These are the new decals I just uploaded and they all have bows on them, which is perfect for this build. As we go over here, in the main room, once again, we have just a cabinet with more silverware and then plates and dishes. And then another seating area in front of the staircase and this little desk where you can write in your diary. I'm trying to figure out where to go next. Do I go this way? Do I go this way? Okay, we'll go this way. Over here is one of the sunrooms slash reading nooks. So here you could sit, read a book, sip your tea, do whatever you want. Perfect for a fairy tale home. And then over here is kind of the clutter corner because usually in the sunroom of someone's house to the patio, they have extra storage in boxes when they receive a package or whatever, they just leave it in there. So I added a plant and then some storage. Let's just step outside really quick. This is the backyard. It's pretty simple. I didn't do too much. It's basically the same as the front, just some paths, pebbles, and flowers. And then as we go through here, here's the kitchen. So this wall is just all cabinets for the function of an actual kitchen. And then over here is more of the fun decor. Following the ribbon theme, we have the bow decal, more storage. Ignore the ceiling. <laughs> We're gonna pretend we didn't see that. And then we have espresso machine, decals, post-it notes, just basic things you would find in a kitchen. We have a lot of different utensils going on. And then there's a fresh tray of two cookies because they wouldn't let me put any more. So we have two cookies there. And then these are makeshift stools. But they're actually tables. I don't know. I just felt like being a little creative there. Here's the reading area for the sunroom to go with the reading nook over here. And then a fireplace. So if you're just sitting out here in the winter time and you can't go outside, you could sit, read a book in front of the fire and you won't get cold because sunrooms are usually colder than the rest of the house. Right here, there's a path and then you enter and here's the tea party area for the outside. This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. So let's go upstairs with the custom staircase. As we go upstairs, this is the laundry room slash where you would do your homework. A bit more of a blue and pink theme up here. And we have the cabin lighting, more cute decals that I uploaded. Check them out. I'll link them in the description. It's so pretty. Here's the desk with all the little details. Basically, the idea is that whoever lives here is a fashion designer. So here is where they would do their sketches. And these are kind of their mock-up sketches that they hung on the wall for more ideas. And then the bow, because fashion designer. Laundry basket to go with the laundry room here. Yeah, just a lot of fine detailing going on. Here is the bedroom. So this was the makeshift cabinet thingy I did because I didn't know what to put here. And then the bear to go with the bedroom because bedrooms are comfy and cute. This is a kid's day bed with the blanket and the pillows. Here's the mini walk-in closet so you could change your clothes. And over here we have a little fireplace area with the decals and bows again because the fashion designer. So whoever lives here is a fashion designer. So we're gonna say I am a fashion designer. And then here is kind of just reading nook area for the bedroom. And it has a little bit of an elevation so this way it feels separate from the room. It's so pretty. I love the little post-it notes I did here with the lights. It's supposed to look like a string of Polaroids. So that was the idea. And then there's slippers on the floor for when you're about to go to bed. But yeah, that is the finished house. It is so pretty. I could not be happier with how it turned out. This is probably my favorite build now. The color scheme, the theme, the aesthetic. So, so pretty. I hope pictures do it justice. I hope you guys like this build. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I do a speed build, I will pin it in the comments and then I'll also put it in the description, but it probably won't be for a, a while. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Love me. XO, XO. French Roses Girl.